This is an open letter to friends and family. Competition apparently is both the solution and the problem for humanity. This competition has been the solution of, you know, to come out of the caves and to build and propagate. But the same competition is the is the cause of all the conflicts, the wars and all of that. I mean, let's be frank. What war is, is competition by different means in a different scenario, in a different environment. With a different scenario, in a different environment. It's business competition, war, same thing. And it seems as animals compete, we as, you know, animals cannot give up the sense of competition that we have. We have to, we have to compete, or I guess we die if we don't compete. <laughs> it's like we have to compete or else we, you, you wither away as humans. It's, it seems that way. It, it seems this competition is building, but the problem is, the problem is the problem we have is that the animal's competition ends when their stomach fills. When their stomach fills, imagine a lion. When the stomach is has just been filled, there is there was competition. The stomach had to be filled. Now the stomach is filled. Now this lion has two or three days before he he needs another meal. At least because that that uh, usually these carnivores, for example, uh, usually they they hide their after they eat a good meal still there is meat left usually so they hide the carcass so to you know continue feeding on it for the next two three days so probably once a week a lion gets into a real competition to survive once a week and the rest of the week the lion has time to you know practice his skill raise the, the kids, you know, teach them how to hunt, teach them how to behave. The rest of the week that the lion and the lioness have, they have time to just be, do the regular things that, you know, this species need to survive. Just the regular things. Uh, that the species need to survive, that is mate and and it's not just important to mate, but it's very important to raise the next generation properly with good education and good care and good, you know, affect, love and affection. But what has happened in case of humans is that humans don't stop once the stomach is filled. You know, the, the whole idea of not being happy when even if you have a full stomach and and there's an absence of pain, there's still people are not happy, which is a shame. But the point is this, because they're not happy in that in that scenario, is they need there's a need for competition. The lions get it over with once a week, do this competition catch a prey and live on it for a week and for the next week they tend to other aspects of life but when you look at humans is that they have made it such in these modern societies that they have made it such that you need 12 hours of competition you you, you at, at least at least you know eight hours to ten hours to 12 hours of competition 
uh, you know, you're competing with your co-worker at work in order to keep your job. You know, it's, the, it's capitalism and it has to be very efficient. And if you're not as efficient as your co-worker and you, or you don't, you know, suck, to the, suck up to the boss as good as your co-worker, you might lose your job. So there's, there's eight, ten hours of competition in that, at least, every day. And then, you know, you and your co-workers are competing to keep your job. Your boss and his co-worker are competing to keep their job. And then the owner of the company, corporation, are there. They are competing with each other to increase their economical status because they need an increase in their social status. They feel the need to, to you know, increase their social status through by increasing their economic status. So you feel that these humans have, as you know, as the case was when there were you know nomads, they they, they were competing, but you know, not eight hours, ten hours, twelve hours a day, but you know, competing enough to sustain themselves. But now the modern human has been forced to compete eight, ten hours a day at work and be at, and come and compete two, two, three hours, four hours a day, five hours a day, either by themselves, by, you know, through, you know, mating process, because that's another competition, you know, to get a mate and you keep a mate, you're competing the whole time. And then, you know, and then you like to, they like to watch, the majority are like to watch competitions on TV. I mean, from football to boxing to whatever the fuck UFC is. But the point is this. This, it's like, can't get enough competition. And whether at work or at play or at mating and or everything... They have made everything into a competition. The fucking lion competes once a week for food and once a year for mating. The rest of the time, the lions are attending to their family, to their young. And humans have reached this point that they're they're spending 90% of their, their time competing for stuff, stuff that lions have no use for or social status that you know again it's not a main concern for lions social status you know during comes up into play in the lions tribe group only during the mating season and there is you know there is enough for everyone the point is this, in human society, you have made it such that you're working, you're competing for work, eight, ten hours every day, almost every day, six days a week at least, mating, sports, and you can't get enough of that, so you, you, you don't have enough competition during the day. When you come home, you also want to watch competition other people competing <laughs> and and you wonder where these wars are coming from folks you know war is a competition by different means and there is a comp- competition for access to more resources people are killing themselves because for, for access to resources and if they they don't get access to the, those resources that they want. Sometimes they commit suicide and sometimes they commit homicides because your, your whole thing is about competition. You have kept that competitive mindset of animals, but that competitive mindset in a 24-7 Space time, the mindset of competition in a 24-7 space time 
Nothing like a lion like once a week. space time but humans 24 7 space time of competition then you wonder why your society is stressed and they're doing you know there you have alcoholics and drug addicts and this addict and that addict and a lot of homicides and suicides and all of that the humans, like other animals, were not meant to be in a competitive mode 24-7, or at least 27, 20, 24. And they're not, or, I don't know, 18, 24, 16, 24. It's like every waking moment, humans, like other animals, were not meant to be in a competitive mode every waking moment but they are they have been accustomed to i guess and you wonder why these, these all these you know all these pills to you know happy pills all these stress relief drugs well i mean you weren't meant to be in the twenty in, in a in a eighteen or sixteen hours a day competitive mode. No animal was meant to be in a sixteen hour a day competitive mode. And you add this, uh, add the, the 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 need for popularity and the need for acceptance that the the, the younger ones have. Then you know. You know, the older ones also, everybody is a competition for acceptance. Especially if, if you're accepted more, you get paid more. When you're accepted, when you win the competition for acceptance, that is when you're popular. A popular person, you can consider somebody who has won the competition for acceptance. Competition, again, it, it, it's the, the whole thing is. You know, you're, they're stressed out of their, their ears. I mean, Michael Jackson was popular, is popular, because he has won the pop competition for acceptance of a certain audience of this age range and whatever. And then we wonder why these people who are very successful in life they, they use a lot of drugs and you know this comp they're always in competition of acceptance they, 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 they have horrible lives you don't want to be your, your human nervous system is not designed to be in competition 24 7 or you know 18 24. 1624 it wasn't meant for that I, 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 I know a few quite a few people in my own personal life that they you know they try to accumulate as much as they could and you can tell by just looking at them that their stress out of their mind have always been it because you know accumul accumulating more is who wants to accumulate more somebody who wants to increase their economical status why do they want to increase their economical status the main reason is to increase their social status why the need for to increase your social status because you require public acceptance Higher social status means more number of people, you know, uh, have, you're popular, you, you know, higher social social status, you know, you, uh, more people have accepted you. Accept you and your views and your, all of that. So my, my point is this, that, that, this competition part 
is both the driver of you know all the technology and all the industry and this and that and the other both the cure for something for primitive life but also it has become a, a, a burden both a cure and a, and, and a poison because when you know this competition and comes to war whether it be civil war or international war that's that's shit that's competitive and because it doesn't stop I'm not sure you know how can one get the benefit of a competitive intellect in order to build but not get the shortcomings of competitive intellect when it comes to war when it comes to wanting more access to more resources i'm not sure how we can get about that unless we can you know if we can get our hands on free energy which apparently it's not that difficult through the electricity that is can be generated there is technology there but it's suppressed there there is a you know way to generate electricity with literally just vibrations that are created by movement of water through earth there is you know technology there but it's been suppressed i mean there are ways of getting free energy tesla was you know had created but then his work has been you know apparently by by the testimony of quite a few sources that his work has been suppressed by the inter- intelligence agencies by the order of very rich people because you know once if you can get free energy or almost free energy you know There, there won't be a, this problem of competition anymore, at least to the level of obtaining resources. Because if energy is free, you can almost get anything for free. Almost. I mean, if energy is free, you can literally, you know, turn dust into gold with free energy. This is a, a, as simple as I can put it. But you know then again these people in the higher echelons of who have reached the higher echelons of econo- economy which has co- has resulted into their higher social class they probably don't want to give up being the higher social class out of greed out of fear they don't want to give up give that up so this 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 scarcity this artificial scarcity that they have created by by pricing energy and not allowing free energy this artificial scarcity that they have created is it's it's creating this unnecessary competition which results into war wars with an s this unnecessary competition that has been has resulted into war multi, many wars is the unnecessary competition because the goal of this competition which is access to energy is can be solved without oil and gas and even solar and all of that is apparently it's not that difficult anyone who wants to look into it look into tesla and his work and whatever it is that is available and try to recreate it recreate it because once this is solved you know you can you can 
you, you can you can consider you can say goodbye to scarcity and the scarcity mentality which drives these people for you know for so much competition that's coming out of their ears this fucking competition business is coming out of their ears there's they're competing 16 hours a day whether at work at home in the battlefield in the corp corporate office in in they have they have no time to raise their children there is no time for a family in this 16 hour a day compete to eat to and then no don't at the lower level compete just to eat at the higher level compete to increase your social status both of which should be you know should be irrelevant if if energy is free if energy is free you can eat almost for free you know because food is energy if energy is free you can eat almost for free if energy is free if you have to access to anything you want because energy is free therefore things are more or less accessible almost free then they wouldn't you know the social higher social status is not going to be a you know a help in you obtaining things that are available almost to everybody because energy has become free I think it's time to you know get get rid of this you know social status need or want